I'll just go through your scale fingering again today. Um, just need to look at the, the fingering pattern, okay? Um, so in your right hand, your scale starts with three fingers. Then you turn and you do four fingers. Then you turn again and you do three fingers. Then you turn again and you do all five fingers. So when I talk about fingering groups, I talk in terms of three fingers, then four fingers, then three fingers, then five fingers. So just watch that as I play. So three fingers, turn, then four fingers, up to the four, then turn to three fingers, so up to the three, then turn, and five fingers, so up to the five. Okay, so it's trying to memorise that pattern. Three, four, three, five. And on the way down, it'll be in reverse. So five comes first, then three, then four, and then three. So as I play down the scale, I do all five fingers in turn, then three fingers, turn, four fingers, turn and three fingers okay so it does depend on you being able to remember that in the left hand it starts the opposite way around so we start with five fingers then we turn and do three fingers then we turn and do four fingers and we turn and do three fingers so let's watch that all five fingers to start and turn then three fingers, turn, then four fingers, so we know the four comes over, and then three fingers. Okay, so going down it'll be three, then four, then three, and then five. So from the top, three fingers, turn, four fingers, so go down to the four, turn, three fingers, down to the three, turn, five fingers, so all the way down to the five. And then I'll look at your dozen a day as well now. So we've got a new one, new group, deep breathing. Maybe try this one hand separately first because the chords take a little bit of learning. The three notes that you play in the first bar are the three notes that form the chord. So again, that first bar is C, E, G. So they are the notes of the chord, C, E, and G. One, three, and five. The next one, you need to move your thumb to the B. So you can't see, so I'll just flatten my hand. So you're moving the thumb. You see I'm moving it along one key from C to B. But the rest of my hand is staying still. Okay, because the next chord, I need to use these two fingers, five and four, F and G. So I don't really want to move those fingers away from those notes. So all I've done is I've taken my thumb and moved it down one key to B. So the three notes are B, F, G, and then you play those three. On the next line, you're coming back to the first chord. So I'm bringing my thumb back again using the C, E and G chord. Then I move the thumb down again to B and I use those top two fingers. Then I move the thumb back again to C and you found without any difficulty the C that it finishes on. That's the right hand. Now the left hand is the same but one octave lower. So you can see a bit better maybe. So C, E and G, that makes the chord, C, E and G. Now this time, it's the little finger that's moving, all right? But again, I don't want to move the rest of my hand. If I move my little finger to B, I need the thumb and the two to play F and G, the top. So I'm only moving my little finger back again to the C chord, C, E, G. Move the little finger down again to B and use the F and G at the top. Then move the little finger back to C again. Sorry, didn't quite come out. And then in the last two bars, that chord is tied. All the notes are tied, so I just hold it. So try it hand separately a few times before you try it together. 
three beats in a bar, one, two, three, so move the lower finger and select the top two fingers and then play those three together. Move the fingers back at the bottom to C, now move them back again to the B and move them back again to the C. And the right hand finishes on a single note C.